I am in my 45th year of teaching photography at the San Francisco Art Institute. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, teaching has been uh, a really marvelous uh, life for me, along with doing my own work. And it's one of the, but well, we'll, it's part of our discussions. We'll, we'll talk about the educa education of photography as one of maybe our discussion points, because it's a pretty interesting not in this whole crazy business we're doing. But I thought, um, while I have a captive audience, that I'd show you a few more uh, projects since uh, Odyssey came out. And um, I think the next one I will show you is the Olson House. In 2006, I was invited by the Cincinnati Museum to go to they fly me to Maine twice uh, to visit the Olson House, which is where Andrew Wyeth did Christina crawling up the hill. <laughs> and that's her farmhouse. Is, he, he and his wife and family had a, a summer home right next door to uh, where Christina and her bachelor brother Alvaro lived. And the the building itself has been kept as a sort of shrine for um, the Farnsworth Museum um, runs it and it's sort of a shrine for that painting and Christina's uh, world and Andrew Wyatt. He's now buried there in the, the, um, the little family graveyard. So um, let's see how I do this slide. So I, I don't do commissions because you can turn off the lights. Um, generally, I screw them up in some way or another. And I was really sort of, once I got, I knew, I wanted to go to Maine because I used to spend, I'm from the East Coast and I used to spend my summers in Maine as a kid. So I had a feel for it and a smell for it. I knew about the taste of the blueberries and the, and the idea of having lobsters I mean, the crabs out here are delicious, but I can tell you. So I, I would have gone to Maine for anything just to have some lobsters. And um, so I was a little worried about what I would do there. And I gave myself a talking to on the way there, saying, Linda, for Christ's sake, you've been teaching the history of photography in your classes for years now. Just if you can't figure out what to do, just employ the history of photography. So um, that seems like a good idea. Oops. <laughs> so this is my homage to Walker Evans. <laughs> so this um, body of work ended up being um, a portfolio of digital prints now, big ones and then there's a smaller set, of about I think there are 26 pictures in, in total. And it was very nice. They let me stay there at night, and um, I could basically do, have them run to the house. I mean, it's pretty, it's an empty building. There's very little furniture. Um, but it was, I, I've grown very fond of it. That's little Christina. They had no artwork in the home, except for a picture of Lincoln, which you'll see. Um, but they did have some blow-up photographs, you know, kind of kinko-like poster <laughs> size, that they had plastic over. <laughs> so um, I, I just played, And this is an homage to early Linda Connor. A few of you might know my very early work, which was um, sort of more collage-based. And I would often, I did a whole series of things with shells on top of other images. 
So that's a, um, and you saw the shelves on the windowsill, so I just put it over it. And um, this is the metal that's still there. Uh, this is another early Linda Connor picture. They, there was this beautiful erratic um, uh, granite boulder, as there are many of them in Maine, um, in the, right next to that meadow. And it had all these little blueberry uh, plants around it. And that was one of the things that Christina and Alvaro would, it was a salt water farm, so they make do hay and they probably had, had a, a cow or two and chickens and they would do a little lobstering, a little fishing, uh, maybe some clamming. They had a little small bay down at the end of the hill, which you'll see in a while. So they had two, uh, a barn that was across this, the, the way from the house. And then they, like in Maine, where it's so bloody cold in the winter, they had an attached barn and workshop um, attached to the house. So oh, anyway, so I love this rock. And I photographed it every which way. I mean, south, east, north, west. I really liked it. And um, but I didn't have my focus right. So the, and I, I like the picture of the embedded one here, because it showed it was the only picture I had that showed the relationship of the barn to the house and the rock. But it was sort of out of focus in the foreground. And so real late in the process of putting the portfolio together, I decided I could embed it in this other sharper picture of mine, which is now so easy to do digitally. And, um, but I used to do pictures within pictures back in the 60s, so this is kind of like Early Linda Connor meets late Linda Connor. What's <laughs> that? Wrong button. Here's the picture of Lincoln in this beautiful little um, craft uh, frame of tiny little shells. And um, I look carefully, and it's a reproduction of a Brady photograph of portrait of Lincoln. Their egg basket. Whether or not it was their egg basket or not, it was an egg basket of the two. I like this one because it you can't tell which side is front. It's a really weird sort of optical illusion. And this was a picture in the kitchen of um, that's Amber Wyeth down on the floor, and that you can see in the background there's a man with a hat on, that's Alvaro, and Christina sitting down. Now, as many of you may know, that when Amber Wyeth did that picture of Christina, she was 55 years old, and she was not a beauty. He sort of put his young wife's body on to Christina. But Christina, from the time she was about, I think she lost the use of her legs when she was 16 or 18 or something. They don't know what it was. They didn't think it was polio, but something made her unable to use her, her lower limbs. And she refused to use a wheelchair or crutches or anything. So she would crawl. She lived in the first floor of the house. Uh, she was stubborn as hell. And she'd get in a kitchen chair and she'd get it bouncing and sort of shimmy it across the floor. So you can see what it did to the pine floors there in the kitchen. But I, I, I rather like what was happening with this with the plastic wrap over the picture because it sort of made her spirit legs. That goes into the workshop area off the kitchen. And some of these I found out um, sort of later or looking at a few of Wyeth's paintings at the Farnsworth Museum that, you know, many of these areas of the house he had all already did either paintings or sketches or watercolors of. This is the sort of homage to Paul Strand. 
here's the cove down at the bottom of the hill. And right beside this is the family graveyard. And I, this is a really boring picture. Um, and I thought it was better if it was done in negative. So I took liberties in, so it's actually a negative print, not a positive. Andrew Wyeth has a picture of the dory in the loft, um, but without the light bulb. <laughs> in the barn, I did more sculptural type things. This is from the uh, apple orchard, or the apple trees that they had on the north side of the house. Workbench. This is one of my favorite. Most people who go to the Olsen house are not allowed to get into that back area and, and where the workshop was. And in there, they had the privy. And luckily, they didn't have to go out all the way outside in the winter time. Um, they had a a uh, two-holer privy in this uh, attached area to the house. And they, to keep out drafts on the sort of little door they had on there, they had collaged newspapers. And these newspapers were from 1912, and there's a picture of San Francisco Bay, and I think <laughs> the Crystal Palace. And because it was so much like a Frederick Summer, I then added a little dead bee and bumblebee into the thing. But this is this was fun. Uh, this is my Charles Sheeler homage. <laughs> and there was no electricity up in the upper part of the house, so one of the first things I did is went to the hardware store and got a lot of extension cords and a few uh, utility lights. And this image was done with one utility light out the next room's window onto those eaves. And I, I knew I wanted to photograph the eaves, um, and it was more interesting at night than during the day, but I had no idea that it would look like a negative. But it, it, I'm very pleased with this one. And then the last <laughs> one is the house with the northern North Star, thank you. <laughs> and a, a meteor, and I can't believe a car came down the road, <laughs> but it did. And yeah, so that's that's the old.